Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is Apis House, a transitional housing and learning center. And we're talking to the president and uh, executive director, as well as the founder of Ephesus House, uh, Mr. James Settles. And of course, Mr. Settles, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Thank you, sir. And to tell you how delighted we are, Mr. Settles, to uh, have you, because uh, one of the uh, issues that we'd like to deal with this morning is the uh, issue that we're having in terms of identifying uh, individuals who need uh, what you consider to be transitional housing Correct. and uh, becoming involved in uh, various other learning kinds of experiences. Uh, before we get into uh, the organization that you have established and the facility in real sense that you've established, uh, Mr. Settles, let's have you to give us some information about your background, your okay. education, and some of the things that were uh, important in helping to motivate you to establish such a facility and uh, uh, give us sort of a report in terms of what you're doing now. Well, I'm originally from Memphis. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a, a pretty normal household, what I thought was pretty normal, mm -hmm. and uh, graduated from high school mm -hmm. and started going to college. However, I think what happened with me is, you know how a lot of times our parents, uh, they always want the best for us, mm -hmm. and you know, and my parents always push college and things to me, but. Uh, one of the things that happened is I began to make choices myself mm -hmm. and going to college to me it just uh, it just took too long to succeed mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. so I made some bad choices and, mm -hmm. and, and what I mean by made some bad choices is I I chose a shortcut to mm -hmm. success mm -hmm. which was a road that led me to destruction I uh, mm -hmm. uh, even uh, coming from a pretty good uh, household mm -hmm. just made some choices that landed me in prison back mm -hmm. in 1986 mm -hmm. uh, went to prison and, and one of the things that that really dawned on me when I did go to prison is mm -hmm. uh, I really believed in my heart that I wasn't just so much of a bad guy or mm -hmm. or, or ignorant mm -hmm. so to speak but it's just some about the choices that we make in this life mm -hmm. that uh, that there's consequences mm -hmm. to them mm -hmm. and um, and so uh, uh, after going to prison uh, I stayed in prison actually over eight years mm -hmm. and and I always had this uh, messed up mentality, and I believe a lot of it was uh, mm -hmm. because of the people that I kind of hung around. Mm -hmm. uh, when I say that shortcut to success, a road to destruction, mm -hmm. I felt like if I, why should I work for mm -hmm. uh, 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 some white folks mm -hmm. uh, when I can hustle and make money? Mm -hmm. But never done, it didn't dawn on me mm -hmm. that uh, uh, when you are thinking mm -hmm. in a dysfunctional manner yeah. uh, about uh, 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 making, rather it's making finances, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it can uh, mm -hmm. do some serious damage. And what I call serious damage is I wasn't going to work for white folks for minimum mm -hmm. wage, but yet I go to prison mm -hmm. and stay over eight calendar years and work for 50 cents an hour. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in that respect, uh, uh, I was thankful today mm -hmm. that uh, uh, that I was able to put that behind me and mm -hmm. go forward. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, for as my family, uh, I came from a pretty good family, mm -hmm. what I call a pretty good mm -hmm. family. But one of the things that I believe happened even in our families is that you have to be properly taught mm -hmm. how to mm -hmm. really mm -hmm. live uh, a, a correct life. And what I mean by correct life is mm -hmm. Uh, you have to be taught uh, good work ethics. Good. Mm -hmm. You have to be taught even uh, how to think properly mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. those things just don't happen automatically. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, when I think about my parents, I know that my parents were like any other parents. Yeah. They, uh, they worked hard, uh, two and three jobs, trying to give me a lot of stuff mm -hmm. that they weren't able to enjoy mm -hmm. when they were uh, coming mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and I thank them for that. And I don't look back and say that uh, because of the choices that I made that mm -hmm. uh, they were bad parents. Mm -hmm. They were good parents. They did mm -hmm. what they knew how to do mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. And in accepting that today, uh, uh, one of the things that uh, really uh, uh, I think about a lot is uh, the last time that I got in trouble, you know, my mm -hmm. parents was like, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you're on your own, buddy, you mm -hmm. know, and I was very upset at that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that was really when I began to uh, mm -hmm. be responsible for mm -hmm. myself. So uh, uh, I just think a lot of times 
families, uh, they just uh, raise us the mm -hmm. only way that they know how. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on my end, I think I got blessed too, even though mm -hmm. going to prison for over eight years, you know, it may seem like a tragedy to somebody else, mm -hmm. but, you know, it really was a blessing to me because mm -hmm. that was when I began to really mm -hmm. sit down and, and look on the inside and mm -hmm. begin to really make some quality decisions. Very good. And of course, Mr. Settlers, let me uh, take this first commercial break. Mm -hmm. After we come back, we'll give you an opportunity to talk about some other aspects and to talk about the facility that you've established that to okay. help people like you found yourself to be in. And of course, we'll be back uh, shortly after this very, very short commercial break. Yeah. We're talking to Mr. James Settle.